Astrobi. Let me introduce you to the Square Trio, three amazing robots that have visited the ISS. Their names are Honey, Queen, and Bumble, and they belong to the Astro B family. They are not just cute, they are also very helpful. They can do tasks like taking pictures, checking equipment, and mapping the space station. They are preparing for bigger missions, like building new stations on the moon and beyond. They are like the best friends of the human explorers, always ready to lend a hand or a claw. One of them said, we love space and we love humans. We can't wait to see more of both. Did you know that you can save the rainforest with your old smartphone? It sounds crazy, but it's true. The Rainforest Connection team has a brilliant idea. They turn old phones into listening devices that can detect chainsaws, gunshots, and other threats. They install them on trees and connect them to a cloud platform that alerts local rangers. This way, they can protect the forest and its wildlife from illegal logging and poaching. One of them said, We believe that technology can be a force for good. We want to use it to preserve the lungs of the planet. EcoFlow Blade Imagine having the most gorgeous lawn in the neighborhood without breaking a sweat. That's what this amazing device promises. It's the world's first robotic lawnmower, according to its makers, and it costs a cool $3,000. But what can it do? It can cut grass from 20 to 76 millimeters high and 25 centimeters wide. It can handle slopes up to 27 degrees and dodge rocks and other hurdles. It can be controlled by the EcoFlow app, where you can set the boundaries of the mowing area and monitor the progress. It can sense rain and go back to its charging station. It can use 4G and GPS for accurate operation and theft prevention. It can run quieter than many vacuum cleaners and last up to four hours on a single charge. It can work in temperatures from zero to 45 degrees Celsius. Do you think it's worth the money? Ferry Boat What if you could have a boat that can do it all? A boat that can ferry goods and people, land or work on any shore, and dredge the water. A boat that can inflate and deflate in minutes. That's what this amazing company from Slovenia offers. Their 8-meter model is light as a feather, but strong as an ox. It can carry up to 5 tons of cargo, including heavy machinery like tractors, or up to 50 people. It's not a speedboat, but it can zip along at up to 48 kilometers per hour with its 90-horsepower outboard engine. The company doesn't reveal the price, but it does reveal its future plans. An inflatable amphibious vehicle and a mini houseboat. HPZ VR G2. Meet the ultimate wearable PC, the VR PC. This beast was the most powerful of its kind when it came out, and it still is. It's made by HP, and it's aimed at enterprise customers who want the best VR experience possible. But it doesn't come cheap. It costs a whopping $4,000. So what do you get for that money? A Monster NVIDIA Quadro P5216 GB graphics card, a blazing Enzoil Core i7-7820 processor that can go up to 3, 9 GHz and up to 32 GB of RAM and a terabyte of storage space. This PC can run for up to 90 minutes on a single charge, and it weighs less than 5 kilograms. It works with popular VR headsets like the Oculus Rift, making it perfect for various training scenarios from doctors to soldiers. Foil 18. How would you like to zoom around the nearest lake or sea at 145 kilometers per hour? If that sounds like fun, hop on this stunning vessel. It's hard to tell what it is exactly. Is it a water racer, a wave slicer, or a flying boat? The promotional video doesn't make it clear. The hull looks like an airplane body, but it has wooden planks. It has an airplane engine, but you can swap it for a mast. It has carbon fiber hydrofoils that lift it above the water. It's not easy or cheap to put this thing together. As some reviews point out, the designer was looking for backers and planned to make only 20 models a year.
The price for a two-seater version with a 140-horsepower engine is $214,000.